Uh, g'day. Um, I realised after watching uh, my last couple of videos that it was probably pretty confusing for people. <laughs> I would have been confused, so um, I've simplified everything and um, I want to demonstrate a couple of things that you're going to find interesting. Uh, I've got, let's see, uh, 90 milliamps at 3 volts. Uh, now this is the interesting thing, or a few interesting things. Uh, firstly, I've got the Slayer exciter running there, and got my induction coil there. Uh, I'll just move that for now. Um, but what I want to show you is, if I put my hand over the coil, watch how it, watch how it um, consumes energy or consumes power. Watch the voltage go down. See the voltage going down. Um, take my hand away, voltage goes up. Uh, so, in this instance, what I want to demonstrate is I've got our little Duvalu Wacker. That's better. Which I've just added a pickup, bit of pickup um, metal, and it's just out of a transformer. Uh, and as you can see, uh, using myself as an earth, the induction's pretty good, really. Um, and then if I go over here, a long way over here, to this bit of metal, uh, I want to demonstrate this first. You can see that we're getting a bit of light, um, which is, you say, well, that's fantastic. But actually what I found is, um, the thing is, because I am close to the coil, it's actually going through me um, to the metal. So, and I can demonstrate that if I move my chair away. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hang on. Okay, so if I move my chair away from the coil, it'll go out. See? It's going out. Uh, Zippo, nada, nothing. If I move back close to the... If I move back close to the um, coil, uh, it'll, it'll start again. So, I realise that um, I am the, the earth. Uh, not just the earth, but the um, con I am the conduit for the, um, for the electrons. Uh, so that's interesting. Um, that's the first thing I want to show you, and just to clarify, to clear up some stuff. Um, second thing is, uh, when, uh, say I put this close to the, uh, to the coil, uh, it, it's actually really bright, uh, but you can see uh, close, take it away, it goes up, so it's just a usual thing. Um, now, if I touch this little light onto anything metal, look at, look at that, um, goes really bright, okay? Um, the thing is, it's not consuming any more or any less power, and I think we established that last time. I've got this earthed, and I'll just find the thing. Okay, I've got this ready, uh, and I've got it earthed, and while I've got it earthed, um, if I touch anything metal, anything metal uh, that's in or around the, the vicinity, uh, it will brighten up and our power uh, won't change. So put on the positive lead of the, this terminal. There you go. Um, hang on, there you go. Won't change. I can put on the negative, won't change. Uh, I can put it over here on this bit of metal here of this um, transformer. And there you go, bang. And it's moving around a bit, hang on. And doesn't really change. Um, but what I did find the very interesting is if I actually touch it on the uh, on this leg here which goes to my start of my long winding um, actually something pretty significant happens so watch this okay so you know, full brightness that is actually full it won't get any brighter um, but we'll look at the power now watch I'll take it off hang on I'll leave it on for now but I'll just get it to focus, all right. So watch when I take it off, it goes, consumes more. Consumes less, a lot less, consumes more. Uh, and that's pretty interesting. I'm not sure why it's doing that, um, but it does do it. The other thing is when I'm doing that, when I put it on there, you think, oh, okay, it's gonna, the um, slay excite is gonna consume or, um, the the um, exciter coil is actually not going to be working, um, but it does. Like, 
there's our little thing -o. Uh, still still works can put that over there uh, and look our powers no change uh, even with that going full tilt um, that's really really fascinating um, and of course we can put this on our um, on our either side of our um, inputs on our primary okay so as you can see it's almost doing a bugger all two parts of nothing but what i'm going to do is i'm going to put that onto our it's going to our screwdriver which goes to our pseudo earth of our power supply uh, and i'm going to put that actually on the earth of the power supply uh, and it's going to go the, the thing is going to go full tilt uh, and that's just dead shorted it okay so but I'm going to use one of the legs it's going to go full brightness hang on full brightness uh, that one's on full brightness and look at that all right so I'll take it off so that's consuming milliamps but um actually <laughs> that's it's a weird effect. Look at it. Look at it go. That's nuts. I'm not sure what's going on there. Anybody want to help me with that? Um, I'd appreciate that. Uh, also, I'll flip him around. Hang on. Flip him around, try the other leg. If I can. Hang on a sec. There, I've used the other leg. And dead. Dead as a doorknob. Uh, so that's really interesting. Maybe I should put a capacitor between there. Um, now it's back on. As you can see, something's going on there. So if anybody knows, that'd be great. Uh, and there's something else I want to show you too. So we know that having that touching the input of the uh, secondary uh, from Earth creates a super bright light um, and full tilt uh, and actually provides more um, more voltage but what i'm going to do is now i've got this one um, hooked up to the same earth and i'm going to touch that on there as well and we're going to get two there we go so that two lights on full full tilt but also power still got um more free power i mean not free power but um the <laughs> consumption has dropped again I wonder how many of those I can actually put on. Uh, that's amazing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come over here so you can see. I'm gonna go down to 77, probably because my hand is near the coil. I'll just show you where I had the phone there. See near the coil. Uh, take my hand away, it goes back up. So just bear that in mind. But what I'm gonna do is, here's another one. So a third one connected. And I'm just gonna touch that one on. It hasn't changed the other two at all. Uh, and using once again less voltage again, so that's that's all three are on full tilt brightness, um, and no no extra power consumption, and our voltage drops. Um, that's that's pretty remarkable. Uh, so how about another one? Now I've got four on full brightness, <laughs> four full brightness, and there you go. Uh, if I lean away a bit, so <laughs> that's that's pretty amazing. Um, now. This is another one. Now, if I actually um, put this one close and induce it, um, you'll see actually the power, the voltage drops um, so, <laughs> uh, as per normal. So there's something going on there. Hang on, I'll connect him up. That's, that's about all I can uh, get on there. I've got two, four, five of them on there. Um, as you can see, full tilt. I would say that one's not full tilt, actually. Hang on. Mm. Not bad, but I wouldn't not say that's full tilt. But anyway, how's the voltage? Look at that. That's amazing. Enough anyway. Uh, now we've got it on 60 milliamps and voltage is, let's go, 2 volts. Nice and round. 2 volts still there. Uh, and we'll try our 100 volt little thingo. There we go. That's going. Uh, the lights have dimmed. Obviously, it's consuming more. As you can see, it's consuming more. Um, so... You can see, uh, just as if I use my hand as well, see how it um, consumes all the induction. So, yep, that's everything's working normally. Um, but how about that? <laughs> Something going on there, Annie. Hey, eh? what's that? Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> He's a good girl. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's that's pretty outstanding. Um, all connected to the same earth. Uh, so, yeah, very, very interesting. Uh, anyway, so have a crack at that. Let me know what you think. Um, and, yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Uh, and in closing, I uh, just want to show you that I've got all these LEDs going. Um, they're all pretty much as bright as they can be. Uh, and uh, we are got our current set on 90 milliamps and our voltage set on 3 volts. Uh, so 2.92, that means we're using 0.08 of 1 volt, so not even 0.1 of a volt.